All Chinese word writing is done from Hen Su Pi. Now, every Chinese word start from this Hen Su Pi. Now, all Chinese start with Hen will put it in this column. Su will be in this column. Pi in this column. Dot will be in this column. Because too many words are start with Hen. Too many. So we divide this column to two columns. Uh, two columns. So and this one is different from that, and that one is the second one is Su. Like that. So there's one, two, three, four, five columns. Each column have five rows. Yeah? Each column have five rows. I think some of you already learned this the second time. So this is five one, this is five two, this is five three, this is five four, this is five five. Like that. And this is all about water. Uh, this one is about fire. Uh, hua, like hua, and also this means fire. And this is heart. Heart means uh, water and fire. It will it will create life. Water and fire. So we will think about that. So this is five crowd all start with dot five one five two five three five four. And this all start with P. Because four is start with P. Yeah, four is P. Right. So it's start. With, so it's four P. It's all in this column. Yeah? This is like people's hair. Yeah. And this is like people stand there, standing. And these people walking, like two legs, two legs walking. Yeah, these people dancing, like legs and arms dancing. Yeah, and this is the animal running. And this is all. Uh, that's people and animal. People and animal here. And this is water and fire. Water and fire. And this is earth. A cross. All have cross. This at one line bottom is earth. Uh, guess cross. And this is earth. And this is grass, and this is wood, yeah. and, and this is wood, have two dots when it rise. So this is earth and plants, yeah, plants, yeah, and this is frame, all start with the soup. So we are writing the same, all these kind of start with the soup. This is up frame, we write like this. Down frame. Now this is down frame, down frame, down frame. Yeah, that's all writing is like this one first, and then if you add one line on the bottom, it's self frame, and this one is so this this means door. Yeah, this means door. This is entry. This is sign. All I use shape to present the meaning. Yeah, that's that's Chinese. All use shape to. And this one up down frame. This. Open to left, open to right, also a frame, yeah, frame. This is side frame. This is left and right together. Left, left, open to left, open right together. So we say this is, this is two, this is three, equal to five. This is one, two, this is one, three, and or this is one, five. So. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 21, 22, 23, 31. Simple, complex, simple, complex, simple, complex. Yeah, this is also a frame. Yeah, uh, that's the basic logic. If you know this one, uh, the writing or typing all start from here. So, yeah, you will know all this. If you got this uh, coding done, then you will now write in. Because three something is all across. Cross, cross is Hen first. Yeah, Hen first, Hen first, Hen first. Uh, this one is exception, but all are Hen first. This is all are P first, this is all are dot first.
Yeah, for this uh, remembering is um, you can you can remember these five first, like this five. This five four is easy to remember because it's dot. Dot is five. It's four dots. So this five four is easy. This one is easy to remember. Uh, this is four four because p start with p and this legs and arms. So this four four and this is three four because cross is three. You can think about this one one plus two one and then it's three one. Yeah, ten plus two and three one and this three one three something is three four. This is three four. This one because four strokes. This is two four because it's is frame four sides, one, two, three, four sides. And this one is one, one, four, one, 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 four, one. And then we will use this one, four, one, four, uh, one, 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 four. So this one, four. So if you get this five done, uh, and others will be easy. Yeah, uh, if you get some uh, one, four, two, four, two, four is the most easy one. Uh, two four is right. Three four is should be okay, like because it is cross in the middle. It's four stroke, right? This one is also easy. Lady, lady dancing, yeah. Lady dancing is four four. Really, really easy to remember. And this five four is four dot, four dots, right? So if you get this down and up and down, up is less, and up and down is sort of move, and with number, so it's uh, it's not difficult to to remember. All this start with hen, right? Because one something is all start hen, two something all start with su. And because this column is divided to from this column, right? We say because all start hen is too much, so we will. So this column is divided from this column. So all these are start with hen, hen first, and then all these start with pi, and this all start with dot. <coughs> Writing knowledge and skills. The first part is jokes. All Chinese characters writing start from four basic stroke: hen, su, pi. Now, let's start from the pi writing. Pi. There are several different kind of pi, like pi. Uh, pi. Pi, pi, yeah, and also quite vertical like this. All this kind of writing is heavy in, light out, heavy in, light out, heavy in, light out. Yeah. In the ancient time, thousand years, people use this kind of pen to writing. Yeah, before we do not have, we do not have this kind of pen. No, this kind of pen as well. So. We are always using this. This is bamboo. This is here, right? And then people writing, uh, pi is heavy in, light out. Yeah, heavy in, light out. This is uh, the habit that carry on to nowadays. Yeah. So if you write in like same weight. From beginning to end, from beginning to end, this is not idea. This is uh, because handwriting. We are always follow this guy. Yeah, this one is not. And do not write like this. Do not write at this angle. Uh, do not uh, like like this. We need to write heavy night out or all shape like this. Yeah, have in, light out. So the shape is like this, not not like this, or not like this. Yeah, that's P. Second, the dot. <clears throat> dot right is light in, heavy end. Oh, light in, heavy end, very heavy end, like that. Or you can you can see it. light in, heavy end. Like this. Yeah. Use brush pen is 
is like this. Light in heavy end. Yeah. Light in heavy end. Like that. Yeah. And the third is Han Sok. Han Sok right is heavy in, line out a little bit, and heavy end. And then turn back. We always write in Han, turn back, and also write this is a little low and a little high. All Han, every uh, Han in the kite, in handwriting, always like that. Heavy in, line a bit up, and then heavy in, and then turning back. That's the that's the Han stroke. We do not write like like that way. We do not write like that way. We need turning back. Turning back. That's the that China. And also not even. Not 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 even like this. Not even like this. We must write like heavy in, not out of it, and heavy end, and then turning back. That's three and four. Writing line is normally heavy in and light it a bit out, yeah? Light in, we need, a, we need a strictly like vertical, exactly vertical. Do not, do not slide, do not write in vertical like this. Do not write the line vertical, it must be much very um, straight, vertical like that. Because, because Chinese writing, Chinese writing, we are, we are looking for balance. If you, this is like people stand there. This is like people stand there. If you, if you stand like this, it gives give people feeling like you are not stable, you are not safe. Uh, so give feeling is not comfortable. So when you're writing Su, you must be vertical. That Hen is not. Like, like if you write Hen like this, Su like this. It's still okay, because it's still balanced. It's still, still balanced. But if you write Hen like this, and Su like this, it's like people standard, this is not balanced. So it's slide to the other side. So Su is important, must be treated. This indicate that's balanced, is safe, and looks comfortable. Uh, so it's, uh, um, that's that's the four basic strokes. This kind of writing all have weight. Yeah, like this one start heavy in and out, light in heavy end. This heavy in light in drop and then heavy end. So when you write in Chinese, you need to have this kind of sense. Weight. They're all strokes. They are different weight. Do not write in Chinese like stick, like stick, like stick. No weight change. No weight change is not a uh, beauty. Because in uh, thousand years, Chinese use this kind of pen. Yeah, created the judgment system, then created the value system with this pen. Always with with having that up, having yeah. This that's um, that's Chinese writing style. Yeah, there are several characters we need to pay a uh, little more attention because it looks like a, a difficult to write for foreigner. Like uh, this one. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's that lady or girl. When I'm writing is P, Z. Some people, foreigners, yeah, and they write like this, and then this is very wide, and then this is here. This is not beautiful. This is not beautiful. We need, we can mend it like that, and put this line up close to this one, yeah, make it close, and then. And then move this line up because this is the arms. 
these legs and arms still move here. That was beautiful. So this one is like, and the second stroke is close to the first one. And the last one is, last one is on the, like this. Yeah, that's the knee. And uh, the sixth one is the cat and dog, 45. We are writing from like this. This is P. And the second one is turning like this. So it start point here and end point here. So the last one is this. There are several points in the two painting. This one is higher than this. This one is higher than this. And this, <clears throat> this start point, end point should be same line. And then, and this one is different writing, but maybe you can shape. You can write the brick okay, like this here, and then yeah, brick, and then the force, and then did more little bit of mending. So it should it looks like this. Uh, but do not write. Do not write like this. Yeah, this one looks like this one looks like this. Yeah, so uh, we need to write it like this one. That means this one important part is important part is this must be higher, and this one is need a tiny. Yeah, like that here and this. Huh? That's right in 45. Not one in King. This sometimes point is difficult to write. And this one, three dots. This one is high list, much higher than this. And this one is higher than this, little uh, low. So this shape, you can uh, you can think about it. this shape is like another frame. Yeah, this is a frame, this is not a frame. So if you write, yeah, you can write like dot. This is dot, and then frame, yeah, frame, and then, and then do did a little bit of bending. So that's the, like, yeah, a little bit of bending. That's scene writing, yeah? So this second. Yeah, like that. And uh, uh, others, others dot. And this dot is tick. Two dots. This is tick, obviously. Yeah, two, three dots. Need to write like that. And then who is dot, dot. And this is P. Nah. Uh, that's the. Seven, eight. That's the basic writing and uh, four characters. Four characters. The third part is shape. Chinese characters have di different kind of shape. Like the first one is square, shape like this. Like uh, uh, this one is a shape like a square and a wall, yeah. It's also like square, and yeah, there are many. It's also like square. This is square shape, and the second the second one is triangle, triangle shape, shape. like. Earth. We write like this. This one is looks like a triangle. Yeah. And wood. Now if you write wood like this, it's not beautiful. If you write earth, it's not. So we need to write this uh, this uh, this shape. And then rise. 
you need to wind on the bottom. This narrow on the top, wide, and this wide. So this shape, all these, and yeah? all these triangle, and all these are triangle. And have another one is by yeah? You must write like this. You must write like this triangle. If you if you write this hole like this. Or cool like this. That's not beautiful. You need to like yeah, file like this. And the rice also works like this. This is not beauty. You must write this is Chinese uh, handwriting style. Another one is uh, this shape. There are some words written like this shape. Like yeah, this shape. And write this shape. And that's very simple, very uh, intuitive. So you will see this kind of shape. Yeah. Yeah. This is basic shapes of Chinese words. Yeah. And that's just the basic writing, it's not uh, reach the calligraphy level. It's just basic handwriting. But how to judge? Is that good or not? Beautiful or not? Yeah. Chinese always say the words, the writing, the handwriting present the people, yeah, the people doing this writing. So what view do you want to have in your mind to writing? Yeah. So I think uh, there are several, several points. One is, one is, must these words must be look safe, not not slide to other and stable, like stable. You need to like this wide and the top is wide. This looks comfortable, uh, uh, stable, right? Like the most stable. If you write this knee, yeah very big and then very small you give a feeling it's not uh, not safe not stable because very slight and uh, if you write this one yeah like write this it's so give you a different feeling so you must be must be uh, put this in your mind it's balanced every word is balanced like people stand there like people stand, stand there must be uh, balanced, not slide to other sides. Yes, and three is every every uh, or or comfortable. Yeah, every stroke, every structure needed to distribute it. Distribute it. We uh, occupy this space. Yeah, occupy this space. Need to arrange it comfortably, like like a, like a car. Uh, do not do not write like this, right? Yeah, this one is not dis dis distributed this very well. Huh? Uh, if you write like this, it's not comfortable. Feel the feeling is not comfortable. So you need to arrange this structure and uh, shows to feel this build to feel this frame well. Right. So, and uh, the first one is you need to write beautifully. That means it looks like beautiful. How to write it beautiful? That means we have some basic uh, writing, right? Basic writing, you need to pay attention to the uh, small part. Yeah, make every stroke beauty. That's four points. One, two, three, four points affect the feeling of your work, of your writing. Also, I think you need to keep this full view in your mind when you're doing writing. You need to write this word, yeah, balanced, and distribute uh, strokes and the structures compo uh, in the components to fill this square well.
You have to treat it like that. And another one, when you write a sentence, when you write a sentence, you should make all words same size, yeah, same size, same style. If you like these three words, you like this big, this small, this is another big. That's not a beauty. So we need to use same style to write all words. Yeah, that's what affected the, the writing.